Hi, I'm Andy Glass with WorkshopAttic.com. Today we're going to take a look at Woodpecker's Dowel Press. Now it is a one-time tool and they are made to order and they're currently taking orders up until October 31st, 2016. Once that deadline comes and goes, this tool will be retired and they will not make another batch. Today we're going to go ahead and go through a product walkthrough. I'll show you its features. Then we'll go step by step to actually pressing a dowel. Then we'll get my impressions and who's this uh, unit for and who's going to buy it. So let's take a closer look at the unit itself. We'll start at the back of the unit here with this large 5 8 Acme threaded rod that runs through an oilless bearing and a large aluminum crank handle to provide a lot of leverage as you're pushing your dowel stock through the dowel press. Taking a closer look at the oilless bearing, this does two things. One, it reduces the friction and heat buildup on the Acme threaded rod and the housing, and two, it's obviously oilless. Uh, you do not want oil mixed with your woodworking projects as oil will damage and stain your material. As you turn the handle, the Acme threaded rod pushes this movable head along towards the die along these two steel bars. Now the head itself has a cone shape, so it's self-centering when you insert your dowel stock. And then it also has four notches to align the corners of your dowel stock. Underneath the head itself, there is a high wear resistant material that has a slight ramp that matches the ramp of the self-aligning uh, block right before the die. Here in the base of the unit, there are three holes for these pins that go on the movable head that allow you to push the material uh, the remaining way through the die. Also, the base has six uh, holes that are countersunk to be able to mount it directly to your bench with a screw or screw it to a piece of wood that you can then clamp to your bench. Here in the front of the unit is a self-aligning guide block that has an angle that moves up and down as the movable head comes and ramps into it. Now as that pushes out of the way, you are able to insert and remove the dies on the front of the unit. Now there are some grooves here to grab the unit out of the front, but I prefer to place one finger through the back here and then help guide it in, which works really nice. Included with your dowel press are 16 dies in this nice laser cut foam hard case that allow you to make smooth 3 quarter inch dowels and smooth or fluted dowels in a half inch, 3 eighths and quarter inch sizes. If you'd like metric, metric dies are available as well. And the dies are made from A2 steel that are heat treated to a Rockwell hardness of 60 C. And the cutting edge are machined at a 90 degrees angle so if they get dull in the future uh, a couple rounds on a honing stone will bring them right back sharp and get you uh, making some dowels again. And on the features of this uh, dowel press from Woodpeckers let's talk about actually pressing a dowel. The process is very simple you're simply taking mechanical advantage of this lever to turn the Acme rod to move the movable head which is going to push your material through the dies that are included. Now uh, when you are preparing your material for this, you need to prep it to a 16th inch over your finished diameter uh, dowel that you would require. And then you are going to place your stock into the movable head, which is self-aligning as I mentioned earlier. And then the other end goes into the uh, auto-aligning V-block that moves up and down um, to align it to your die. Now uh, the mortise here on the front headstock for uh, the dies um, that's, it, it's super easy to put in your dies, but um, when you do press a dowel, you need to press it three different times. So for example, if you want a half inch dowel or, or 0 .500, you need to start out with a .550 or 550 die, run your material through, swap out your die to a 510 die, run your material through, and then final, uh, your final pass will be with a 500 smooth or a 500 fluted die, depending on which finish you want um, for that dowel. I will note that you need to use these pins um, at the end of each pass to push your dowel through the die, uh, that last little bit, um, which is uh, super easy to do. Um, just back it out, plop that pin in, and then push it all the way through. Uh, this self-aligning V-block moves out of the way as the movable head approaches the die uh, with the um, angled block and the angled front of the movable block. It's a uh, nice little feature that keeps that dowel exactly where you want it uh, as you start it. Um, so that's a nice little feature. Uh, my first impressions of this unit, uh, right when I opened it up, 
uh, I was not surprised. It's beefy, it's precise, it's woodpecker red. It's something that is uh, just known for the woodpecker brand. It's, it's built like a tank and it's exactly what you would expect. Um, my first impressions of actually making the dowels is the process was uh, a little bit long as you needed to run your material through three different times. The uh, process, the very first time you run it through, the, the first pass, you are removing the most amount of material, so it's gonna be the hardest to turn. But with this large handle, you have such a mechanical advantage that uh, it's not difficult at all to turn, but it's not a cakewalk either. You do have to put a little bit of elbow grease behind it. With that being said, you need to screw this to your work surface or screw it to a board and then clamp it to your work surface as you will be putting a lot of leverage uh, on this um, screw here. The movable head, the Acme rod, uh, the crank, everything moves very, very smooth without a load on it um, due to the uh, steel guide and then the oilless bearings. It's just a really nice, smooth, precise action that woodworker, or excuse me, woodpeckers has put into this product. Um, again, getting back to having to run this material through three different times, it takes a little bit of time to actually make your dowel. So, me being uh, working with the motto in life of work smarter not harder, I popped this handle off for the crank handle and found out that the hex shaft on the Acme threaded rod is 3 eighths of an inch. Uh, I grabbed a 24 volt max um, drill, threw a socket, uh, 3 8 inch socket on there, put the drill in low, and then operated on the very first setting of my variable speed uh, drill and uh, operated the machine or, or this dowel press uh, using the um, drill powered. Um, and it sped the process up uh, immensely. Now I did not go overboard. I do not know if this jig is designed or meant to do that. I wanted to test it. I wanted to see that if you could get uh, innovative, take that handle off. I'm not sure, maybe woodpeckers designed that hex on there uh, to be used with a 3 8 inch uh, socket. Regardless whether it is or isn't, I took it very slow and it performed very well. So uh, if you are interested in this but the uh, slow factor uh, turned you off, keep in mind that uh, the, the drill power performed very, very well. The dies that are included with this uh, unit are in this laser cut foamed hard case and are presented very, very nice. They're easy to find, easy to read with um, the uh, markings on the front and back. They are from A2 steel and they are heat treated to a Rockwell hardness of 60 C. And as I mentioned earlier, they are 90 degree profile. So down the road, if you're making a ton of dowels and you need to uh, freshen up that cutting edge, simply put it on a sharpening stone, a couple passes, and that uh, sharpening edge is freshened up and you're ready to go um, better than ever uh, with a nice sharp edge. This unit produced some impressive uh, results as far as the finish on the dowel, both the smooth and fluted, as well as the dowel size. When you put a half inch die in there, the, die, or the dowel that comes out is gonna be .500, um, maybe uh, two thousandths uh, plus or minus. I mean, it is, it is right on. This unit is expensive, that is a major drawback of it, um, but it, uh, you're, you're getting the woodpecker quality uh, when you buy their uh, products. It's a great segue into who's gonna buy this unit. Someone that is doing extremely fine woodworking that needs those precise dowels, uh, or someone that wants the ability and flexibility to simply grab the stock off a current project or the scraps and make their own dowels. Um, having that flexibility in the shop and, and knowing that you're never gonna run out of dowels in a project is something that uh, you can definitely have if you have the dowel press in your shop. Um, if you are a Woodpeckers fanboy like myself, uh, Woodpeckers makes the best of the best in the industry and if that's something you desire in your shop, whether you're going to use it once a year or uh, once a day, um, I'm a big fan of buying the best of the best and if you can justify the cost, um, Woodpeckers products are it. So with that being said, this is not a hard sell guys, this is an open uh, ordering campaign. If you're interested, head over to our blog, we'll have a link directly there. If you're not, no big deal, check out their uh, future one-time tools. Uh, if you're not familiar with Woodpecker's products, I highly recommend checking them out. They are the best of the best of the best in the uh, woodworking realm of tools and products as far as precision and quality. 
Let me know below if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. I'd be happy to provide some feedback. We strongly encourage you to follow us on social media as we do product review updates, project updates, and exclusive tool review giveaways. I'm Andy Glass with Workshop Addict. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.